Ooh, what's up TBU fans and of course welcome to our week 4 TBU game against Jack and yeah I was really looking forward to this game specifically because he has a ditto um, other than that if you see my tier build you know what I was kind of expecting not seeing slow king here was um, disappointing like I was building so hard for it with all pursuits on draping and whatnot but not seeing it yeah damn <laughs> But he also built the same way, like, I do believe he was building for, of course, Slowbro. And I, of course, didn't bring it because I wanted, of course, Medicham to have Thunder Punch over Ice Punch. So, he have that. So, that's awesome. Um, or at least I expected to actually find out that it has that. Never mind. Um, and for this game, the only thing I'm seeing is his clear lead for this specific battle is either Ditto or Crobat. Could go for Medicham. Kind of risky. Uh, and my obvious lead here for him must be Donphan, therefore I'm bringing Thunderous. Uh, mostly because it, in theory, presses out a lot of his mon outside of Ditto itself. Ditto is a major issue, I have to solve that, and um, basically I'm just gonna pressure him with Thunderous. Thunderous is a great mon against him, but I just need to uh, ensure it doesn't KO, be become KO too easily. And outside of that, Guard War could be extremely important for this matchup also, because it's actually quite speedy, even though I am timid max speed. But uh, yeah, I really shouldn't ramble too much. Jack is a very, very good person in general, so make sure to check out this channel if anything. And uh, yeah, shit is going down. Let's see if we can go for two, 3 for 1 or 2 for 2. So let's go. So from the get-go, we actually will lead off with the Crobat, and he's directly going to switch out. Uh, which tells me probably a bulkier set who don't want to risk over u turns to go to copyright and decide over substitute mostly because I knew he was not going to stay in. Um, his best move against me would be cross poison, I believe. And while it would do a lot of damage to me, I still would get up to sub. So, yeah, I can freely here go for, of course, an Empire Ice and kind of scout what I'm going to set is. I expect him to be scarfed, of course, because I'll go for Hidden Powers, music the Empire Ice. So, I'll be, all right, I can bring a Volcano in here, no problem. If only he wasn't Life Orb. That is a very, very small set. So the thing is here, I can stay and KO him, but I'm risking too much by doing so. Um, so I was thinking, you know, he could predict my switch out and of course go for Thunderbolt. God of War can use that capabilities of it, of course. I could have gone for Canyon, then God of War, but I won't risk the Thunderbolt against me, so I'm gonna go for Lissa. And of course, trying to soak this possible of course, uh, Thunderbolt, obviously, he goes for Hidden Power Ice, he's gonna stay safe, so that's okay. Uh, we do take a hefty amount of damage due to Life Orb, but we still are in the clear, and I can wrap this up with basically with Thunderbolt, or, I mean, not Thunderbolt, that would have been really unfortunate, but of course, Moonblast. And yeah, you know, we're, we're looking fine at the moment, we get out the Ditto out of the way, so I really, really was glad that Mon went down, because that means I have now three Mons who can set up. Uh, which is great, I kind of need that, if anything, to kind of break apart his team. So he's going to go to Batarang here, and I was really predicting that U-turn. But at the same time, I need will o Wisping, so I'm going to go to Tusk. And um, I know exactly what happens when you bring a monster such as this. And that is that the Venusaur is going to freely come in. And I really don't have proper switching for, um, for the Venusaur outside of Thunderous. Now, Thunderous is a great monster to bring in. But feeling that grass, he has to go for that, right? He has to go for Giga Rain to, of course, dead my tusk. Well, that was that's sexual. Never mind. <laughs> wow. So I'm gonna go to Drapion here, and he goes for Hidden Power Ground. And that is, uh, yeah, shit. So that does a really, really lot of damage. Obviously, great predictions on me, well said. I'm just going for a knockoff. I know that I have nothing that really want to take this Hidden Power Ground outside of course Thunders. But that's the same thing. I can't kill it with, of course, in the power ice, but I can dent it with Balthasar or Drapion, then bring in Thunderous and wrap it up. So, yeah, that was mainly my fault here that, you know, push it down. That's really all I need. And then Gave Star can just kill it. Now, I could have gone for a nasty plot right here and then. That would have been really nice. Uh, actually, I don't know why I did that do that. I guess Slushman kind of hurts. So, that's gonna fall. And he's now gonna bring in Medisham, which tells me one thing. His landers most likely isn't scarf for this matchup, which is great, but at the same time, I can't switch out on this one. I simply can't. I have nothing that takes a high jump kick properly, so I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt, getting the high damage, and then bring in Sceptile, basically, to kill it. Uh, since Sceptile actually works really great at this point, but you know what? Goes for Thunderbolt, nice damage there, and what do you know? He gets paralyzed. 
That's awesome. And it gets fully paralyzed, which is more awesome. So I was thinking, all right, this game is uh, this game is bad. I, I think I got this. I don't think he has any way of um, making it back on me. Um, so he's gonna knock him out, and he's gonna bring his bishop here. And uh, I was firmly believing that he would go for a sucker punch. I know I can take a sucker punch. Uh, I can't take a knockoff though. I, if he is adamant, I can't take a knockoff. I just can go for Thunderbolt, gave him the heavy damage on it. And uh, he didn't go for sucker punch. He went for a knockoff. And he actually kills my Thunderous. And I was like, ah oh, shit. That was, that, was a, that was a ballsy play from me, obviously. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to Malik, which of course is my Sceptile. I have Sword Stance. I should have predicted the sucker punch. But I don't do that, I actually go directly for the kill. And what makes that kinda worse is that I really get a lot of damage onto my Sceptile. Now obviously I can take a Sucker Punch, no worry about that. He actually can't kill me, even with Iron Head, it doesn't really kill me. Uh, but I didn't want to risk I didn't want to risk in a position where he went for a physical move than a Sucker Punch. Uh, because that of course would kill the Sceptile. But here's the thing. Um, I can't KO with the Crobat, so that's really unfortunate. I can sack something or I go for the heavy damage. I go for the heavy damage. And that does really a lot of damage on him. But he just can go for Brave Bird. So here I am in position and um, I have to decide one thing here. It is pretty much the worst kind of situation you are in. Uh, I have to go for a substitute with Volcanion, even if I go against... Um, sorry. I'm on with, of course, the likes of uh, Infiltrator because I need a substitute behind the Landers. So I wanted to go for Brave Bird, but he goes for that Super Fang. That play is so good. God damn it. That is. That pretty much means that he got this in the bag. I actually lose due to this. Substitute was my best play. It actually was. Um, I don't know how I lose so much momentum in this battle. I, I obviously screw up with Thunders and Zeptile. Uh, but the thing is, the reason I went for Subject was because I wanted him to kill himself with, of course, Brave Bird and being behind the sub because of the Landers because I can't touch the Crobat with my Tusk. I was so worried about this and I said it in my team planner also that not having Ice Shard might come back to bite me in the ass and I'll say just so because Ice Shard after Intimidate is still a 3 to 2 hit KO depending on his set. And I, of course, could have used it to my abilities and actually, and I can't really stress this enough, wrap the game up with Ice Shard. I don't have that, and I basically here scout out whether or not he's scarred or not. And it goes for the Earthquake, and it does over 50%, which means this thing is banded, which is okay. I mean, it's toxic, so you know, yay. Um, but the thing is here, I really got nothing here. I just can't force him out, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna bring a God of War, just trying to at least, um, uh, how do you say? Um, reduce the, the punishment which he brought on to me uh, go for the intimidate basically ensuring or actually could have still stayed in if he wanted to and probably win the matchup but uh, he goes for earthquake killing god of war nothing big to it and um, then i'm gonna bring dolphin again trying to get that toxic going because that obviously isn't happened the first time and uh, i can promise you this uh, it won't happen the second time either but yeah like i said i lose this game and um yeah, it's, it's bittersweet because I kind of realized that while Jack plays this game really nicely and the Super Fang on his um, on his Crobat, really cool, I, like, I can't really stress enough, that is an awesome play. But I can't help feeling I paved that way for him to actually take the game back. Because I get a massive momentum with a full paralyzation on uh, that Medishap, I mean, paralyzation really. But it just... Once I lose Thunders there, like I had no reason sacking at that point because now it turned out to be a great winning condition. But yeah, I don't really know what went through my head. I was definitely not playing this game right and the Jack brings the game back. I mean, we both are high offensive players and in the end here he deserved to win this game because he did the right plays at the end. Obviously, not going for Braver against Volcano is definitely one of them. And before I go into my afterthoughts, I actually have a video for you that I promised Jack that I would use if I lose this game. So with that said, enjoy. Mm, what's up TV fans? And of course, welcome to, well, my video of course me being wrong. Tea is good for you. Tea tastes great. Tea is truly the thing for you. And I actually showcased tea the wrong way last time. And I have to redeem myself after losing this battle. So this is a tutorial how to make tea. 
first you grab one of these. Earl Grey's. It's great for you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good. So good. Yeah, that's a um, marvelous tool. And you apply the tea bag first. Like this. Not the other way around. Then you are applying, of course, the water. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So this is how you do it. And you can apply, of course, such as honey to make the taste even better. Yeah. You can also apply candy. Um, something else that tastes better. Yeah, that, this is great. I, for myself, after a loss, always like to apply something such as salt. Yeah, salt is great. This is how you really save your tea. Yeah, just salt that shit. Yeah, that will be great. And then you're supposed to let this thing linger. Uh, but of course, already prepared for that, so we're not going to make any lingers here because I already applied a good, tasteful tea. Such as this. This. This is some great tea. That malty, I mean, Earl Grey thingy. Mmm, mmm. This is, this is what you want. This. This is a great tea. I mean, if you apply... This is the British style tea. And this is the Viking style tea. I, I'll take the Viking style tea any day of the week. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that salt actually? Not like this one. Not like ah, oh, this this one is way better. Yeah. So that's how you make tea. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoy that. I actually have a lot of fun recording that. Uh, but now for the real after farts. And uh, yeah, there aren't really too many things that bother me. Um, I do believe, like I said, there that with that massive momentum I got from, of course, the paralyzation with Medicham and whatnot that i should not have lost that i should not have lost this game but but that's the thing though like i, I lose of course um founders against the bishop which i believe are a big misplay considering what position i got into due to that paralyzation with medisham i had things to sack basically uh, and then after that i actually didn't bring god versus the bishop going for that will-o-wisp there would be simply no risk for me of going for will o -Wisp at that point. Um, I could have missed it, absolutely, but I didn't need Intimidate for Landers. I didn't need it. Uh, I could play around that. And then if I got the will o -Wisp on uh, Bishop, I could have set up with Sceptile, which probably would have brought the game home at that point. Um, so I feel that is a big, big missed opportunity. And then the last part, like Volcanium versus Crobat. I mean, I can't blame Jack or anything there. There is that play with Super Fang. That has to be the best play of the week. Like, I don't see anybody pulling something better off. Because had I had he gone for Brave Bird, uh, he would have done 70% on me at best. Which would have meant that he would fall. It also would have meant that I would be behind a sub. And of course, I would have killed the Landers. That was my best play at that point. Uh, now, not having a nice shot, of course, on Don Fan. Yeah. I just kicked myself over that. I, I was so worried about it. And I feel that, you know, I'm still frustrating talking about it because i cannot believe not having that uh ensures that I, I lost this game like that was a, still a good last response for me if i had that i decided not to because i wanted to deal with slow king which didn't bring and it just oh, i'm kicking myself over it i feel i brought slow bro to ensure that he was gonna miss build and what do i do just about the same thing really so uh, for what is worth jack deserves to win this game not because of the hacks against him but rather the plays i didn't make or the builds i didn't have i think jack has the better complete set due to that and uh, the way i played at the end there yeah he got this he deserved this so jack awesome game man and thank you so much for the battle if anything and um, yeah make sure to check him out like i said previously he's a very, very good battler and it's always fun watching his stuff uh, so with all that said, we are actually facing Danny next week, or the Munchlaxer United. And that's gonna be a game, and I need a win now. I am two for two, so definitely if you're watching, this is a mixed season, tea drinker. <laughs> Son of a bitch, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Until then, take care. Bye.